Lindsay and today's video is going to be a look into the new Bible journaling kit from Faber Castell. So this is a new product I just saw it in stores um, at Hobby Lobby on Monday. I know this is something that they were showing off at CHA or Creativation this year and I've been waiting to get my hands on it and I found it. So I found mine at Hobby Lobby. It was on an end cap over by where the like fine art supplies are and it was like an end capped with uh, hand lettering supplies and things like that. So it may be different in your store but that's where I found mine. And I think they must have just put it out because it didn't even have the price tags on it yet. <laughs> and so uh, it retailed for $19.99. I went ahead and used my 40% off coupon so I got it for about $12. So let's dive in and see what all's included and kind of see if it's worth picking up. So it's a 47 piece kit and it's specifically targeted towards Bible journaling, which I think is fantastic that that is becoming uh, mainstream and in other markets other than just like Christian bookstores and things like that. I think that's fantastic. So um, on the back here, it shows you what all comes in the kit and we can dive in and take a look. I already went ahead and kind of looked at everything to see what all was included. So my box is open. I just wanna make sure I don't get anything stuck in there. Okay, so all kinds of little bits and bobs. It comes all nicely packaged in some plastic packaging. But like I said, I had already opened mine, so mine isn't all pretty. Okay, so I think kind of the key selling point is going to be these right here. So this kit comes with four uh, gelatos and these are really popular in the journaling community. I have some videos here on my channel showing how to use gelatos. I will link those down in the description bar down below if you want to check those out and uh, see what they're about. These are a water soluble pigment stick if you're not familiar. So it's a stick just like a chapstick and this color you can use dry, you can use with water, you can use it to tint other mediums, all things like that. I won't go into detail about what all you can do with them, but you do get four with this kit. These colors are not exclusive to this kit. So I already had these two. These are the guava and aqua dulce um, and these came in one of the other collections of gelatos. So I did already have these. Now I didn't have these. They're calling these highlighters. I think these come in the Brights collection. I don't have that collection, but I'm pretty sure that's what these are from. And it's star fruit and dragon fruit. And they kind of suggest using these, just like it says, highlighters in your Bible to highlight verses and things like that. But I would imagine you could use them in the same way that you use the regular colored gelatos. So you do get four of those. You also get the uh, Pit Artist Pen in black, and this is the small size, so you can see the nib there. When I'm not using my Illustrative Faith Pens, that's these ones here, um, these are the ones that I reach for, are the Faber-Castell Pit Artist Pens. You may have seen me use the brush pens on my channel, and these have a brush tip, but they're made by the same company, and they come in a whole bunch of different colors. Uh, you may have also seen some people using the big brush markers. These have a big brush tip um, and things like that. So I love Faber-Castell products. I think they're fantastic. So I love that they include a good pen. This is an India ink permanent waterproof and it doesn't bleed through your Bible pages. Perfect for Bible journaling. This one here is the Pit Artist Pen in gold. And this is a bullet nib if you can see it there. And it's a really pretty um, metallic gold color. I don't know if you'll be able to catch that on camera, but very nice juicy pen. So that's great. So those right there, I think, are great to have, especially if you are new to gelatos, want to give them a try, but don't want to dive into one of the bigger kits. Uh, this gives you a variety of ones to try and some pens. I think that's great. They also throw in some other products for you to use for Bible journaling. Now, I don't know that these make the kit worth it. They're not my cup of tea, but they might be your cup of tea. Um, that's just kind of my honest, you know me over here, I try to be honest. <laughs> so they include some die cut pieces. 
Let me see here. I think they include 16 die cut pieces. Now, one thing I will say about these that's nice is they're not made out of a really thick cardstock, which you might be thinking, oh, well, that's cheap. No, this is great because it doesn't add a lot of bulk to your Bible um, when you use these in your Bible. So, no, they are not super durable. I don't know that you could watercolor or something like that on these, but they're not going to add a bunch of chunk to your Bible, which is great. And they are in these fun colors. I like that they're using the hand lettering, which is really on trend right now. And you have several different um, like journaling pieces like this. They are white on the back and some little pieces like that. I do really like the feather. I kind of wish they would have included more pieces like this that are more stylized shapes than just these little pieces here, but that's just my preference. That's not... That's just me being me. <laughs> so you do get those pieces there. You also get two sheets of mache paper. Now, nowhere could I find where they recommend how to use these. My idea, because it's on very thin, almost translucent paper, was that you could cut these pieces out and then like Mod Podge them into your Bible using like matte gel medium or clear gesso and do it that way, or you could just cut them out and use them glued directly to the page. But I imagine you could put like a layer of clear gesso down, put this down, and then put a clear gesso over the top and do it that way. But like I said, there's no real direction on how to use them in the kit, which if this kit was geared towards somebody new to Bible journaling, I, you know, you would think that that would be something that they would suggest how to use. But you also get some stickers and it's just one little sheet of stickers here you have some crosses some really pretty flowers some word stickers here so definitely something just to kind of get you started and let you figure out whether you like using stickers in your bible or not which i like like i said i think this kit's gonna be more geared towards a new bible journaler that's still trying to figure out what they like maybe they don't have a lot of supplies yet um, and that kind of thing. If you're an avid Bible journaler, you've been doing this for a while, I don't know that this kit's really going to be for you. I think for the value, you probably could go to another company and kind of pick and choose things that you know that you already like um, for the same amount of money. But not that these are bad quality. I just think that the selection is a little more geared towards a new Bible journaler. They also give you some of these. These, and I've already played with some of them. They have... I believe these are called Bible journaling stencils is what they're calling these. You've got some words here, some different stripes that you could do. And then I think they're calling these mixed media stencils. Now, I don't know how they're deciding what the difference is because they are on the exact same type of like thick cardstock. Um, I guess these are more fitted towards the like uh, margin of your Bible, whereas this would cover the whole page, but I just think you could use the same techniques with either one of these stencils. But you got Trust His Path with some flowers, so those are fun. Now, if you wanted to use these over and over and over again, I would recommend covering these in, um, like you can see, it's already trying to pull up, cover them in acrylic paint or clear gesso, or even doesn't even have to be clear gesso, it could be white gesso. Um, to kind of reinforce these if you want them to be reusable. If you're using wet mediums over these, I don't know that they're going to hold up very long uh, just because they're kind of a flimsy cardstock. So there is that. They also include uh, a, I think they're calling it a 46 page, 46 page design uh, guide. And so this is going to kind of give you some ideas on how to use the products from the kit in your journaling Bible. Now, when they say 46 pages, I think it's a little deceptive, and I'll tell you why. It, yes, technically it is 46 pages, but a big chunk of it here are these grid line and dot grids for practicing hand lettering. So it's not 46 pages packed full of tips and tricks and ideas and things like that. Um, it, a lot of it is these practice sheets, which is nice if you're not comfortable with hand lettering. I'm not comfortable with my hand lettering. So it does give you somewhere that you can practice. It does say that you can make copies of these and practice lettering. But uh, as far as instructions go, it gives you a little look into what comes in the kit. 
and then some of their other products by Faber-Castell that you might want to pair with it. Now Faber-Castell has kind of more of their artist side of supplies and then their design memory craft is more like crafting supplies. So the pens I would say are in kind of more their fine art supplies and then their gelatos, their gesso, things like that are in the more crafting area. So they might be in two different places in your crafting store if you're looking for these products on their own, just, just so you know. Uh, it tells you a little bit about uh, the gelatos and the pens that you have in there. And then it starts getting into some techniques. So uh, it does show you how to apply the gelatos with a baby wipe, which is a very common way to apply them in your Bible. A uh, very sheer way to blend them out so that you can still read the words. It does have some fun tips like how to use washi tape to mask off your verse. Um, here it's saying to uh, use the stencil, but it doesn't really explain, like, are you scribbling the color directly into the stencil? Are you doing it with baby wipe? So, uh, you know, I don't know if you're brand new to using gelatos, you would probably have to go on to like YouTube or something to see how to use them in that way. Because if you go over the stencil with the gelato, you get all these weird chunks. It doesn't really quite go into the stencil. So, I, you know, I don't love to use them that way. I've got a baby wipe here and just picking up some color. This is probably how I would apply color through the stencil, but you know, you're getting the stencil wet, so the stencil isn't gonna last very long if you don't prep it. That is a really pretty way to do it with the baby wipe. You kind of get this watercolored effect, but I just know that from playing with gelatos. I wouldn't have known that if I just picked up this kit, so. Um, there's that. Tips on using the die cuts. Now I do like that they are put a lot of emphasis on the importance of reading the words. So it says pause to reflect on a verse you've been studying. It doesn't just jump right into the art. It does make a point that you know it is important to be studying the word and I really appreciate that from a craft company saying that. I think that's great. So um, they also suggest to use the stencils with the pen and draw through the stencil to create an outline on your page. So different ways to use the products. Um, here they're showing how to tint some gel medium with the gelatos and create like a colored gel that you could use. This one I thought was really fun. So they used white gesso. Um, I don't have white gesso because I don't use that in my Bible, but you could probably get away with using just some white acrylic paint. Covering this piece here with that and then coloring over the top of it with the gelatos and then cutting this out and adhering that directly into your Bible. So I do like that they give you a variety of ways that you can use this multimedia stencil or mixed media stencil. So that's kind of nice. And then it just goes into some things that you could probably trace into your Bible, some areas to practice, and like I said, multiple pages of that. And then they do have some lettering examples that you could trace or practice in here. And then in the back, they have some full color photos of some examples using the products in the kit. So um, that is it that comes in here. Like I said, it retails for $19.99. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know, is this something you're thinking about picking up? Why or why not? Um, do you like these types of videos where I take a look at products like this? Um, these are videos I like to watch before I buy something to see if it's worth picking up. Uh, I don't think this is a bad kit. I think this kit is perfect for new to Bible journaling or if you're wanting to try out gelatos and haven't tried them before, then yes, I think this would be a good kit to pick up and uh, to play with. But if you're an avid journaler, I don't know that you're going to get much more out of this than if you just went and picked up products on your own. So. Um, be sure to subscribe to my channel if you're not already a subscriber. I do several different types of videos on my channel. Um, Bible journaling processes, um, review videos, all kinds of things like that. So be sure to subscribe. And um, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. And until next time, thank you so much. Bye-bye.